Imagine a place where you can explore the wonders of art, circus history, and nature in one spectacular setting. That place is the Ringling in Sarasota. It's the former estate of John and Mabel Ringling, the legendary circus tycoons who made Sarasota their winter home in the 1920s. The Ringling Estate spans more than 60 acres of scenic waterfront land, and it features the Ringling Mansion, the Circus Museum, Lush Gardens, and the official State Art Museum of Florida. There's also a beautiful historic theater here. Hi everyone, I'm Chad Gallivanter. You have found the channel for travel tips and guides that won't waste your time. On today's episode, exploring the Ringling in Sarasota, the ultimate guide for first-time visitors. The gallivanting starts now. The Ringling is open daily except Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's Day. Admission prices vary depending on which attractions you want to visit. You can buy tickets online or at the Visitor Center. On your screen, where you can go to find ticket options and prices online. The first attraction you'll encounter after entering the Ringling is the Circus Museum, which celebrates the history and legacy of the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. Two buildings contain the Circus Museum, the Tibbles Learning Center, and the original Circus Museum that dates back to the late 1940s. The Tibbles Learning Center houses the world's largest miniature circus, created by Howard Tibbles over a span of five decades. The model depicts the circus as it was in the early 1900s, with over 40,000 pieces that recreate every detail of the circus operation, from the trains and tents to the performers and animals. You can also see a collection of circus posters, costumes, props, wagons, and other artifacts in this building. The original Circus Museum displays some of the most iconic items from the circus history, such as John Ringling's personal train car, a cannon used to shoot human cannonballs, a more than 40-foot tall calliope wagon that played music during parades, and a restored bandwagon that was once pulled by elephants. You can also learn about some of the famous circus performers such as clowns Emmett Kelly and Lou Jacobs and animal trainer Gunther Gable Williams. Give yourself plenty of time to walk around the miniature circus model. It's very detailed and you don't want to miss the little things that make it unique. The next attraction, the Cotizan Mansion, which was John and Mabel Ringling's winter residence from 1926 until their deaths in 1936 and 1929, respectively. The name Cotizan means House of John in Venetian dialect, and it reflects John Ringling's love for Venice and its architecture. The mansion is a five-story building with 36 rooms and 15 bathrooms, decorated with lavish furnishings, artwork, and antiques from around the world. 
You can explore the first floor of the mansion with your Katazan admission ticket, or book a guided tour that will take you to other floors as well. The Ringling Estate is not only a cultural destination, but also a natural oasis. The Bayfront Gardens are a collection of landscaped areas that showcase different styles and themes. You can stroll through the gardens and enjoy the views of the bay, the sculptures, the fountains, and the flora and fauna. Early November through April, a small group guided walking tour of the gardens is available, where visitors learn about the property's lush landscaping. On your screen, what you currently pay for the hour and a half long tour. Last, but certainly not least attraction at the Ringling is the Museum of Art, which is the crown jewel of the estate. The museum was built by John Ringling in 1927 to house his impressive collection of European paintings, sculptures, and decorative arts. The museum is designed in a Renaissance style with a pink facade, a courtyard with a replica of Michelangelo's David, and 21 galleries, which display over 10,000 artworks. The museum's collection spans from ancient to modern times. You can also see artworks from other regions and cultures, such as Asian art, American art, contemporary art, and photography. The museum plays host to special exhibitions throughout the year that feature works from other museums or private collections. The Ringling provides what they call a slow-looking tour a couple of times a month. It gives art museum visitors a chance to experience in-depth engagement with just a few works of art. This guided tour is free with museum admission, but space is limited. <laughs> The Ringling is a place where you can immerse yourself in art, history, and nature all in one day. Whether you're a fan of circus history, architecture, or art, you'll find something to inspire and entertain you at The Ringling. The Ringling is more than just a museum, it's a testament to the vision and legacy of John and Mabel Ringling, who left their mark on Sarasota and Florida. The Ringling is a place where you can discover something new, every time you visit. From Sarasota, I'm Chad. Hope to see you out there gallivanting soon.